Hey there fellow wedge shavers, Brian here with the Wedge Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning into this video. In this video, I'm going to be doing my top five razors from 2021. So I was tagged a little while ago by John uh, Latherhog on Instagram to do my top five razors. Uh, so I have been sidetracked, as you know, and haven't done a lot of videos uh, this month until just recently. So I'm kind of behind on that, but I did want to just do a video on it and then I'll do a post on Instagram. So these aren't necessarily my top five razors of all time. These are five razors that I tried for the first time in 2021. And these are the top five. I didn't get a ton of razors this year. I did try a few razors that I don't have in my den that were loaned to me, a um, couple actually by um, John uh, Latherhog, and a um, couple that were loaned to me from some other folks, but um, they were ones that I ended up not picking up anyways. Uh, so that being said, let's get started. And it's kind of hard to rank these, but I'll start with one that I picked up this year that I really like, and this is a um, Gillette Fat Boy, and I picked this up from Neil uh, from the Heritage Collection. Uh, on the BST site, and he was selling this. This uh, It's in really pretty good shape, uh, shaves very well. Uh, I enjoy it, and it's a really nice razor, and it's kind of nice to have a piece of history and nostalgia in your den. This is a, uh, let's see, this is an E3. Yeah, E3, which I honestly, on the top of my head, cannot remember what year and quarter that is, but um, I would say this is one of my best pickups of 2021. And I got this from Neil at the Heritage Collection. The other next razor I'd say is the Winning Razor. This is from the Wet Shaving Club, which is not really a club. It's just um, a website. And uh, so there's nothing to join or anything. This is their Winning Razor. I think this is a $50 or $55 razor. It's solid stainless steel. It is a kind of a heavier razor. And this is made in the USA by Yates Manufacturing, Precision Manufacturing for the Wet Shaving Club. Uh, but I like the, the handle and um, this definitely has a unique head design and it kind of gives you the shave angle there. And um, I really enjoy it. it. To me, it's a mild razor. So what you're gonna see in all this is kind of along the lines of my personal preferences. I do not like a lot of blade feel, blade gap, aggressive razors so you're going to see just see that throughout the, that theme throughout all of this so um anyways i enjoyed this razor quite a bit and um so this is i guess number four um next up probably would be and and john just said razors so i'm i'm just going with um, razors rather than just double edge safety razors so um, number three for me i guess would be the leaf twig this is a single edge razor that uses a half DE blade. Uh, it's pretty cool design. Uh, you twist the bottom and um, the whole thing opens up and that twists and you throw the half DE in there so you can buy some half DE blades. Or the other cool thing I like is whatever blade you like, you can just break them in half yourself and put them in there. So there's no proprietary blade to buy. Uh, it uses the same blade as the rest of my DE razors and I just break a razor in half and it works just fine. Um, this is not the thorn version, so this is not the more aggressive version. This is the regular uh, twig version, but I definitely really enjoyed this razor from a single edge pr razor perspective. Um, I think number two is the Razor Rock Lupo. Um, I can't remember if this came out in 2021, or if it came out before that and I got it on another drop in 2021. This is the Halo handle. It's honestly not my favorite Razor Rock handle, but this is all that was left when I bought it in terms of a handle. But it is comfortable, just aesthetically, probably not my favorite handle. But um, I like this one. This is the 0.72 uh, or the 72. So this is a solid stainless steel razor. Uh, what I like about this one is that it's a little bit, um, I don't know, more blade feely uh, or aggressive than the Game Changer 68. But the two things that I like about this razor uh, over the Game Changer, um, and I would say that this is pretty similar to the Game Changer. I'll just take this apart um, in terms of blade feel, but because um, the blade, blade 
The game changer is a, is a 6.68. This is a 0 0.72, so there's really not much difference. But the one thing I like about this is that the, I, and I this is just kind of a pet peeve of mine or a personal, maybe not a pet peeve, but a personal preference. The male ends are on the top cap. Um, in some razors, like the game changer, the male ends are actually on the base plate. And I don't know just the way I load the blade, but um, when you have the male ends on the top cap, you can put the blade on the top cap um, and then it rests in there. And then you can put the base plate on there. If it has the male ends on the base plate, you kind of got to set the blade on top of the base plate, get the top cap on. And that's how the game changer is. And I just prefer just the design of the way that this is for ease of use for me personally. The other thing I like about the Lupo versus the Game Changer is I like how the corners here are tapered. And for me, the tapered corners make it a little bit easier to get around the nose area. And so I like razors that have tapered corners like that, uh, the way this does. Uh, kind of like the Rex, I think, Ambassador, which or Rex Envoy, which I borrowed. Um, and um, that one um, kind of was a little more aggressive than I would have liked, but I did like the head design on that. And then, um, so my top razor uh, for this year is just kind of my go-to razor. Um, I got this as a Christmas gift last year for my wife, so I might have used it after Christmas, before New Year's, uh, but I had just got it for Christmas, so really I didn't get much of a chance to use it until this year, and that's my Rockwell 6S. Um, this is not only my top razor for 2021, but it's probably probably the top razor in my den. Uh, I usually use the three plates. Um, it's just a great razor to me. I like the weight, uh, I like the handle. Um, and I like the way it shaves. It's effortless for me. I don't really have to think about it. I don't really worry about nicks and cuts with this razor. Uh, the angle is pretty forgiving, so it doesn't have to be spot on every time. And I just really kind of enjoy the way this shaves and it's definitely a go-to razor for me. So those are kind of my top five acquired razors in 2021. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you found the video informative and we'll see you soon on the channel.